Our groove is made all the way around our shoe. You can see it best here because of the difference in texture, but it runs all the way around. And we are going to use this groove to now sew um, everything together here on the outside. Um, we will be punching a hole through and through, and then um, we'll be passing our thread like this, and we'll be zigzagging, and on the other edge, so we'll be doing that again as we did on the inside. So a quick recap on uh, our hand sewing. We've done it before, but it um, doesn't hurt to remind you. So we started with a very long uh, thread that we passed one way through the hole. We have a needle on both edges. And um, so we make our holes from this groove here at the bottom. And then we sort of feel so that we end up next to the shoe. There we go. You also see that I've taken the last out so it will make it easier to get your shoe out of the way. And then we pass one needle from the top. And we pass the other from the bottom. stitches lie in our groove here at the bottom and at the top they are next to our ladder and we still have a little bit of edge there because we'll, we'll be passing this by the belt sander not too much though but this is a good way to go you just have to work your way around um, until you get here and then you tie a knot As you can see, I have finished the stitching all around the shoe, as you can see, and I've done that to both. So we have um, our outer soles that are attached. You can see the stitching here along the edge on this side of the shoe. And then here, it lies nicely in our groove, we're ready to go. Um, I've put the last back in, but actually I'm going to take them out to glue the heels on, because that will be the next step.